Good afternoon, CHS, and welcome to the October episode of Inc. TV. I'm your host, Ainsley Vetter. And I'm Bridgie Garrett. Today we'll be discussing all the events that took place at CHS throughout the month of October. Back in the beginning of the month, the juniors and seniors enrolled in either live studio production or advanced studio production this year got the opportunity to be members of the audience of the television show Harry, hosted by Harry Connick Jr. Let's go to Jillian Lynch for more on the story. On Tuesday, October 10th, students from both the senior and junior TV radio classes went to New York City to see the filming of the Harry Cognac Jr. show. They were able to be part of the live studio audience and witness the filming of the show. They listened to special guests such as Robin Thede, his wife Jill, and leading rate lady Ray Montague, the first female program manager of ships in the United States Navy. Now back to the studio with Bridget and Ainsley. Later on in the month, CHS held its annual 3v3 basketball tournament at Wall High School. Let's go to Maeve Miller with more on the story. Even though the tournament included a lot less teams than normal, the event was still considered successful for the freshman class. The tournament was bracket style, with juniors Ron Cole, Marissa Harkzuk, and Jackson Pack coming out on top. To hear more about the tournament, we got the chance to talk to pink team member Brian Chu. Let's see what he has to say about the team's unfortunate defeat. It was very difficult to lose again, come in second place, but it was a really well-run tournament. It was a lot of fun. Thanks, Maeve. This year, a new tradition was started at CHS. Instead of the annual Skills USA Halloween dance, the club decided on creating a homecoming for CHS. Let's go to Aiden Rosenberg with more information on our homecoming this year. Instead of holding the usual Halloween dance, there will be a homecoming dance. This dance, which will take place on November 3rd, is set up by Skills USA. So, we usually do a Halloween dance every year, but this year, the date that we were given was after Halloween. So, we kind of were bummed out about that, but then we had the idea to just change it to homecoming, because um, this is the time that a lot of other schools are doing their homecoming football games and dances, so we thought it'd be a cool idea. So, we sent out a survey to each grade to nominate people, and we took the six people who had the most nominations and they're going to be voted on at the dance. We thought it would be the best way to get a good group that everyone in the grade wanted to see on their court. So the chaperones are going to be the king and queen uh, nominees and then there's going to be a balloting process at the actual dance where everyone who attends can vote. It really depends next year when the dance is scheduled for. Maybe if it's after Halloween, we'll do another homecoming dance, but if it's not, it'll probably just be a Halloween dance. Tickets will go on sale for $8 on Monday, October 30th, and will be sold until the day of the dance, Friday, November 3rd. For the Inkblot, this is Aiden Rosenberg. Thanks, Aiden. Another new thing at CHS this year is our new math teacher, Ms. Vetzer. Ms. Vetzer is new to the CHS community and we had the opportunity to talk to her. Cheryl Vetzer and I teach mathematics at Communications High School. I teach pre-calculus and algebra one. I got started almost straight out of high school and I taught for about 11 years in New York City. And from there I stayed home for about 10 years raising my children and went back to teaching high school in Allied for a few months and in Brookdale for about seven years. Well, I was interested in getting back into the vocational system because since I taught in Allied for six months, I, I realized what a wonderful atmosphere it is to teach in. Um, you know, motivated students, nice small classrooms, a very inviting staff. So when the position came up, I, I was ready to go back. My youngest is going to college, so I was ready and I'm very happy to have gotten the position. I think it's great. I think it's charged with enthusiasm and um, artistic, interested students, and it, it's been wonderful. Yeah, I think I always enjoyed my math classes, so I think that you should pursue a career in something that you enjoy, and that's what led to, to teaching. To know about me, just that I'm passionate about not just the subject matter but about teaching and I always want my students to come to me with any kind of situation or any help. The last thing to occur in the month of October was my favorite time of the year, Fall Spirit Week. Taking place on the week of October 29th to November 3rd, Fall Spirit Week was the perfect way to wrap up the month of October and our team got the chance to cover each day of the week. Stay tuned for updates. Spirit Week kicked off on Monday, October 30th with Fancy Day. 
Students arrived in their best attire and at lunch the Punny Scarecrow contest began. The freshmen's was SGA themed, the sophomores was Mario themed, the juniors created a David Crowey, and the seniors made a DJ Fihe themed Scarecrow. After the judges contemplated, the winners were announced. On Tuesday, October 31st, or Halloween, CHS students celebrated Spirit Week by dressing up for Halloween. At lunch, the annual parade began. And then the remaining teams will move On Wednesday, November 1st, CHS celebrated the third day of Spirit Week. The lunchtime event was The Floor is Lava. Students received various items and had to get across the floor without touching the ground. Freshmen lost first, followed by juniors, then sophomores, and the seniors ended on top. On Thursday, November 2nd, CHS students participated in the fourth day of Spirit Week. The theme was Tourist Day and the lunchtime event was Minute to Win It. Friday was the fifth and final day of Spirit Week. The theme was Pajama Day, so students dressed down in their most comfortable wear. The lunchtime event was Dodgeball, where teams of six from each grade competed in a four-minute dodgeball competition. The results for Penny Wars were announced at the end of the day. The final Spirit Week results ended the day, resulting with the seniors in first with 315 points, the sophomores in second with 295 points, the juniors in third with 243 points, and the freshmen in last with 207 points. That's all we have for today, CHS. Tune in to our next episode where we recap on how CHS's first homecoming went, battle through midterm exams, and cover Coffee House. Thanks for watching. I'm Bridget Garrett. And I'm Ainsley Vetter. See you in November, CHS.